Hey guys, welcome to another Drone Buzz video. I put this video together because I upgraded my little Cine Whoop from analog to digital and I went with the uh, Watsnell avatar system and then uh, I was actually pretty impressed with it. So I decided to make a video to show how good that little system is. So I didn't get the, um, the goggles, I actually got the standalone unit that's there. So when I upgraded my, and the reason I went with that is because all the other digital system I found out there where they were pretty pretty heavy. I mean, I was, I'm trying to keep this under 250 grams, so like that, I can fly it anywhere I want. And so when the avatar system came out, I really, when I looked it up, it said that uh, about 20 grams, including the small camera, on uh, what the weight is, which is great, because I think the lightest one before that was uh, Cadix Vista for, I think, 29 or 30 grams, or like that. And then you get the uh, the air unit, the old air unit that was about 40 something grams, 46 grams. And then you also have the new uh, O3 unit, air O3 unit, that was about 37 grams. I have that in my bigger drone, but my smaller one, I kind of wanted to be able to still use all my batteries and don't have to like do a lot of changes. So um, I can no longer use my 1100 mAh batteries, which is too bad. I got over 10 minute flights with those. Uh, when I do though, uh, that's if I want to keep it under the 250 grams. If not, if I put heavier, then I have to follow the rules for that. But I'm actually two grams over. So I was tempted to just remove a couple of screws here and there, see if I can keep it under the weight. And then, um, but yeah, after that, everything is the same. So I, was, I really enjoy that part. Um, it's pretty easy to install. I actually bolted it right to the bottom plate on my little cine boob here. And then uh, I got the uh, nano setup. So this one is the nano camera um, that came with this one. Uh, so this is, this is this part of it. And then they have the standalone unit that goes onto your goggles. So that's the second reason why I wanted to get this one is because I didn't want to buy yet another set of goggles because you get the Waxner goggles, you have the HD Zero goggles, and then you have your your um, DJI FPV goggles on top of your analog goggles. And so since I was going from analog to digital with this one, I decided to keep using my old analog goggles, my Fat Sharks. So the way it works, they sell you two two-sided pads, pads, and then um, you just stick them in front of your goggles, put that in front. Uh, I put it in front um, just because it's got the two patch antennas here and then the two stubbies on top. Uh, it does come with an HDMI cable, so you can hook up from there to your goggles and run your uh, HDMI into the goggles. And then they do sell this dongle too. This little dongle here gets um, splits the power between the goggles and then the, the VR external on unit. So you just plug into one, powers both. It's really good for that. And so it does work with your um, your Betaflight uh, uh, OSD. Uh, it also has its own OSD and you can choose whether you want one, the other, both, you can have both. Uh, it'll run with Betaflight. Now, I think with the new update, it does Betaflight, iNav, KISS, and um, EMU Flight. So, the, um, they're pretty easy to update. They update just like any digital goggles you just put in into the SD card, um, just the SD card with the update you want to do. And then uh, you can also unlock those just like a GGI unit. You can make it so you have a higher wattage and you can make it so you have more channels. Um, uh, if you, I can put a link below so you can actually see how um, if, you want, if you want to unlock it or not. I remember that when you unlock it, you go beyond the limits that you're supposed to. Um, so, and then if you want to update the drone, they actually come with a little dongle. This little thing here, it's a USB to a little, I think JS, however you call this little guys, um, Japanese wireless connector. And so it's a one millimeter one with four plugs, four, um, four wires in it. And you plug that unit, plug it to your computer and update it that way. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you do unlock them, you only need to update your, uh, unlock it through here and it automatically does everything to the, uh, to the little VRX on board the, the drone. So yeah, so I was impressed with how good it is. Uh, I was impressed with uh, how far I could go. I couldn't really fly very far before. Uh, I mean, I could, but then if I flew through buildings and all this, the interference with all the magnetism and all the different metal stuff would kind of mess you up so you couldn't fly everywhere you wanted. So now you can, and then I was impressed with it. So what I did is I put um, a little video together. Of one side is the GoPro footage from the GoPro 10, and then the other side is the, actually the footage recorded right off the VRX. So you get to see what you get as a, like the reception you get from this unit. So yeah, enjoy the little video and you get to see the difference. I've been coming up hot for a minute. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. I, I, I drop the top when I'm in it. I'm in it. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. Yeah, I go so yo. Everybody, everybody know I'm on it. Yo, yo. 
know when it click click through Try to fix it, then it's about to be a show be fine Run, 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 run. 